out there, Cyber Friends. It's Mitty Man again, coming back from Walker's Music with yet another word for the day. Matter of fact, we was so busy, it's after 12 now. It's about, matter of fact, it's 12.36, Saturday morning. Um, yesterday was such a busy day with rehearsals and group rehearsals and trying to help choir members as well. And kind of got sidetracked a little bit, but it's all good. Today we want to talk about sometimes, you know, we think that things be happening to us as though it's something strange, but most of the time, if we would just look and think, we could see that things that are, we are just reaping the harvest on seeds that we planted in the past. And uh, we're going to read scripture. Like I told you, we always back up everything with scripture. And we're going to read, starting... Uh, Paul's letter to the Galatians, the sixth chapter, and it reads at the start of the first verse as such. Brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fault, ye which are spiritual, restore such a one in the spirit of meekness, considering thyself, lest thou also be tempted. Bear ye one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. For if a man think himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceived himself. But let every man prove his own work, and then shall he have rejoicing in himself alone, and not in another. For every man shall bear his own burden. Let him that is taught in the word communicate unto him that teacheth in all good things. Be not deceived, God is not mocked, for whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. And let us not be weary in way of doing. For in due season we shall reap if we faint not. As we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men. Especially unto them who are of the household of faith. I read you 10 verses, gospel, letter, Galatians, Paul, first through 10. The God had a blessing to the readers, hearers, and doers. This whole word. Friend, we see that, first of all, Paul was saying, if one be overtaken in a fault, those of us who are spiritual should restore such a one in the spirit of meekness, considering our own selves, lest we also be tempted. Well, people just tell us, don't. When you see someone caught up in a fault, especially a brother, don't be so quick to judge. Don't be so quick to judge. And if, in other words, restore that one with the spirit of meekness, consider yourself, because see, we are just one step away from doing something too. And then there's, and there's something that we dealing with just as well as others. Most of the time, in these days and time now, a lot of things are being exposed for what they are. A lot of years ago, people could do stuff a long time and hide and, and keep it hid. But it's not so in these days and time. Things are happening just like licking a split. You do it in the bedroom, you can be meeting it in the kitchen. But it's saying, let us restore such a one in the spirit of meekness, lest we also be tempted. In other words, let's not let us get big headed. Think we Jesus Jr., you know. Oh, I knew that. I knew one nothing to him. Said, no, we don't need to do that. We don't need to do that. Paul was saying, said we were supposed to bear one another burden and so fulfill the law of Christ. So that meaning if you, I see you carrying a heavy load, you shouldn't have to ask me to help you. You shouldn't have to ask me. But nevertheless, people will. People can see you struggling up on a load. Or if you... People, when you you might be sick or not feeling well, first thing people people that come up and ask you something stupid, like, "Well, if it's anything I can do, 
Let me know. Well, yes, it's something you can do. You you saying that you really don't want to do nothing. You just saying that to get clear your conscience. If you wanted really want to do something, I wouldn't have to ask you. If I'm sick, just go and buy me a can of orange juice. You know I would that would be refreshing to the soul. You don't have to ask nobody if it's anything I can do. If you something you want to do, you'll do it. Just do it. See, this is what Paul was speaking of. But he said, but let every man prove his own work. And I must hurry on. Let him that is taught in the word communicate unto him that teach it. See, in other words, this just don't only mean to the gospel to the degree of the word, but it could be in if I'm helping you, you that shouldn't be anything. If I'm teaching you, whether it be music or whatever it might be, you shouldn't have nothing too good for me. Or I shouldn't have anything too good for you if it be turned around. But most folk want to sit back. You know, you just continue to do. No, 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 no. Him that teaches, he said, a work of the labor is worthy of his hire. You shouldn't hold, don't muzzle the ox that tread not the corn. See, he's saying here to him that teaches, communicate. Meaning, do things for that person. You can't do enough for them. And they are teaching you and helping you and helping you grow. But it's just like what people say, well, the Lord said visit, visit the orphans and the widows and visit. He don't mean by going, sitting over there running your mouth. That don't what he, they ain't meaning that. That ain't what visit mean. Visit mean you go and take care of the needs. You go and take care of some needs. That's what he meant by visit. He said visit them, meaning go and take care of whatever need that they might have. He ain't telling you to go over there and sit and run your mouth. Anybody can do that. When he said visit the sick. Visit though, visit the orphans in the winter. He mean go and see what kind of need they want and take care of them. That's what he meant. See, we don't know the word. We don't know the word, people. We 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 ought to look at it and read it and study it and not just read scripture. That's not what it that's what not that's not study. Paul told him to study to show yourself approved. A workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Says here. Be not deceived, and I must hurry on. For God is not mocked, meaning God is not going to be made a fool of. Whatsoever a man, what? So, that means women too. Mankind, that's what it means. Whatsoever he sow, that shall he also reap. That word, that, is a big word. Because now, you don't plant tomatoes and expect to go back out there and, and, and get squashed. If you plant tomatoes, tomatoes is what's coming up. If you plant watermelon seed, watermelon is coming up. The tomato don't look over at the watermelon and say, what you think I ought to be? I heard Mike Murdoch say that. No. You reap what you sow. God is not going to be made a fool out of it. That don't mean only bad. We seem to think, and my voice is about gone because I've been singing all day. But I, I got to hear on the last minute. We seem to think that that reap what you sow only mean the bad, but it mean good too. But most people just want to set back. Please do all the good to me, but I ain't going to do good to nobody. You can't get some people to move. You have to give them X like and still can't get nothing out of them. But let, but when tell it come to them, they won't, they want you to do everything per se for them. But, in the same scripture here, and I must hear it, and we're going to end it right here. He said, don't be weary in well doing, for in due season we shall reap, if we faint not. And as we have opportunity, let us do good to all men, especially those of the household of faith. So brothers and sisters, the only thing I can tell you that it seems like sometimes, and I know I get the same way, you get weary. You get weary because you feel like folks just trying to make a monkey out of you. But nevertheless, we see and we know no one is making a fool out of them. Really, they're making a fool out of themselves because you reap just what you sow. This is Mitty Man. Walks me saying peace. Goodbye.